I, I didn't because I usually I find I get better service if I act stupid than if I try yeah. to. So anyway, so I told her, I'm like, listen, there's no backlit keyboard. It's very simple. I can show you pictures. The one that has backlit keyboard has an icon that says backlit keyboard. This one doesn't. So it doesn't. She goes, sir, I'm going to need you to contact technical support and get a support ticket. So she transferred for me to the. So they, they sell two SKUs, one with backlight and one without. And she still doesn't believe you. It's possible you got the one without. Right. Even though right on the box, it says. Keyboard English, not keyboard English backlit. Anyway, I get to technical support. That guy was really cool. I explained to him what's going on, and he's like, oh, well, hit function space. Does backlight come on? Nope. Okay. <laughs> it's either defective or doesn't have one. So goes back. They're going to send me a second computer. So fast forward another three and a half weeks, second computer shows up. Open it up, same problem. I do the whole thing all over again, and I told him, I said, I'm very upset. And they said, okay, well, we'll knock 15% off. Well, that's actually a significant amount of money out of $1,600 computer. I'll take 15%. Sure, go ahead and send me another computer. So they, they meanwhile, should, you're using a two hundred dollar HP, two hundred dollar HP I bought off of uh, eBay, which has worked flawlessly. So during this time, during computer number three, I go to Dell and I'm at Dell. And of course, everyone makes fun of me because I show up with this two hundred dollar HP. And it I'm was like, actually it was actually pretty hilarious because we're in the we're, we're not just anywhere at Dell. We are in the cafeteria where there's a bunch of staff walking around and they're going they're kind of like because it's not. It's not like a nice HP. I mean, it's okay. It's not a nice HP. It's a $200 HP it's, computer. It's an entry-level HP computer. And we're at Dell. And so people are kind of looking at me or whatever. And it's, everyone's kind of taking a crack at it. And the reality is, like, the thing is, what the, the, the pure funny thing is, since 2009, Altispeed has been a Dell partner. So we sell primarily Dell machines. It's not like I don't have any Dell machines, right? So um, I, so anyway, so the guy that's, that's leading us there, Jared, goes... Do you need me to get you a Dell? I'm not turning down a computer. I'm like, yeah, I want you to get me a Dell. So he goes up to his office where he just has like stacks of these. And he's like, here, set this up for yourself. I'm like, oh, thanks. You can use it while you're here. I'm like, oh, that'd be great. So I'm setting up this. It was a Precision 53 something, 5020, 5320, something like that. So it's it looks like the XPS, except it's 15 inch and it's a Precision series. It has dedicated graphics. Very nice machine. 24 gigs of RAM, I later found out. So I take this thing. I set it up. I'm using it. It's great. And then uh, we go to leave, and they said we could hang on to this little uh, XPS 13. Review unit I had a few weeks back. So I had taken this, and I, very early on I realized that the 15-inch was not going to work for me. The dedicated graphics wasn't going well uh, in Ubuntu Unity. It was getting this, like, ghosting thing. Yeah, I, I had frame. seen this. So, like, if he clicks on this, like, the system bar menu, like, mm -hmm. for, like, shutdown or sleep or something, 